All right, we are here post Jersey event, and look who I've got with me: Devin Lambert, Joey Farrell, two stalwarts from Phoenix Rising. Guys, how did it feel tonight to see the fans love seeing you guys and seeing you guys? It's great getting back in the city. Uh, we love you guys. You guys give us energy. You guys give us passion every time we see you guys. So it's, it's always great when we, when we run into each other. I mean, the season hasn't really started yet, and um, seeing the numbers that came out today, I mean, it was really a great feeling to see so many people coming out today. Um, so, I imagine what the season going to be like when it starts. So, it's kind of to get started. Where's the focus going to be for you guys? We know we have a couple of interesting preseason games coming up, right? Are you focusing on the preseason games, or are you looking forward and saying, we've got a second game against Real Monarchs, and we got the business to take care of? Well, MLS, all the MLS teams, they're going to be good, good break teams, break teams. So we're excited for those, for sure, because it's an opportunity for us to show what we can do, and that Phoenix Rising belongs, and we can play with any, any team in this country. Um, so it's a great opportunity for us, but our focus is winning championships, so that starts with Real Monarchs. Okay. That works. Yeah, I agree with Joey. Um, it's going to be right from the get go. I mean, these games coming up in the season is going to be important because you know, we're getting started and trying to find um, a tracker and trying to get like the new players and something uh, um, going to the team. So it starts from here though, but you know, champions is what we're mostly focused on right now. So you guys were off for a couple months, right? Um, Kevin, I know you were gone with Jamaica for a while. How was it being back home with the family? Oh, it was great. I mean, it's always a nice time, always fun to be with the family and stuff. So, um, and Montreal too, right? Um, it wasn't in Montreal. It was in Canada, but it's not Montreal. Not Montreal? Yeah. It's like closer to Toronto, but it was... It's all the same, man. <laughs> yeah. It's all I the same. The you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, I do. Joey, how about you? It was great. Uh, Family time. I uh, went back to Philly, so I spent most of my time in either Philly or my sister lives in uh, Manhattan, so I, I took a couple trips from the city. Uh, so a lot of time on the East Coast, it was cold as hell, and I'm always ready to get back to the Phoenix game and get started running again. Eagles fan? Of course. Sorry, so I Sorry about that. Uh, happens, happens, happens. <laughs> we got a ring two years ago, so. Yeah, there you okay, go. It's not too bad. Yeah, you got to live on the on the, on the past on that one. You know what? Take it. And uh, recent well, history. I'm a Falcons fan, so I'm screwed. Oh you know, yeah, not, you okay. know, it's, it's terrible. We've knocked you out of the playoffs. <laughs> You've knocked quite us out of you know, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah everybody's crazy. knocked us out. Of the <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, you know, major unfinished business last year um, when the Monarchs game ended. The fans were gutted, but it's not a tenth of what you guys must have been going through on the field, right? I know, from especially from you two, like more than any other two players really on the team, how much passion you have for the game and how much it means to you. How much does it mean to be able to come back this year we don't care about winning streaks. We don't care about, for me, I'm not speaking for you, for me, I don't care about the Open Cup. I couldn't care less. I want that USL Cup. I want that statement. Where, you, where do you guys stand with that? Uh, well, I like the saying, hungry dogs run faster. So uh, we're hungry right now. We, we, had, we, we came in first. We won the Supporters Shield. And we thought we were destined to win the championship. And it's just, it just turned out that it wasn't our year last year. So this year it is our year. Yeah, um, some things just weren't meant to happen, but um, this year, this year, as Joey said, um, we're more hungry for it, so um, we're going to be going after it. So you can look at, look at it as like unfinished business, so we're going to finish it this year. So when you guys look at it, and this is a debate, and I got beat up on Twitter about this, uh, regular season champion versus USL Cup, which one do you prefer? Which one means more to you? It was our first year. Yes, definitely. Especially since we won the regular season. But um, that is not as important as the US Cup. So that is our main focus. Um, so very, very proud of winning the regular season. We showed Absolutely. how good we were throughout the season, all year long. Our, our consistency and our hard work from day one throughout. But 
in America is it too easy to play the game to win the, the playoffs, win the, win the big one? We are a playoff-oriented society. That's what we're looking for. Yep, I get it. I get it. So one or two last things, and we'll wrap this thing up. Because, you know, there's the fun side of this whole thing, right? And one of the things that I really enjoyed watching the team about is how much you guys have fun around with each other um, in the locker room. We had so much fun. The banter was there. When it comes to anybody that works, Kevin, we'll start with you. Is there anybody in the locker room that you just love to give shit to? Um, to be honest, I need to go to the doesn't really matter who it is. Matter of fact, it's me. Yeah, stuff like that. So, really, you know, you know, it doesn't really matter. I just love to have when it comes to celebrations, was there anybody where you've been like, dude, that's just totally off point, that just doesn't work? Have you ever said anything like that to anybody, or are all the celebrations on point for you? I mean, um, Adam has scored like so many goals, but to be honest, all he does when he scores is just give us a little shock. <laughs> he looks shock, like he's right? running on the pitch, yeah, doesn't he? Like a little shock. He's got the shoulder know, thing going. For like a, for like a a striker, a person that scores so many goals. You need a celebration, bro. You need a good celebration. <laughs> I, like, I like my favorite celebration of last year was Solo's on Kev's goal. When Kev does his flip, Solo, so he saw it coming, did a little cartwheel with a little... Oh, yeah. Because he couldn't do the flip that Kev does. But, uh, <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's some, there's some great characters in, in the locker room again this year, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm excited to see a lot of those celebrations for sure. Is there anybody you like to give any, any crap to? Oh, I give shit to everyone. I'm everyone? probably the biggest shit talker in the world. Uh, so yeah. I'll hop on everyone, like, I'll hop on and then, like, and give anyone shit. Yeah, okay. But I expect it back too, so I like it. I like, I like the little give and take. So. Last question. One thing you're looking forward to most this season. Is there anything different about the season where you're going, this is going to be fun? Lifting up that trophy at the end of the year. I agree, 100%. That's the, that's the only thing that I'm missing in my last two years. You as well, we got the Western Conference Final. We got the regular season champs. We just need the big one at the end. All right, that works. I will be in Salt Lake, and I'm going to be obnoxious as hell. It's love it. <laughs> I love it. It's going to be a good time. Thank you so much Absolutely. for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck this season, and uh, we will definitely be seeing each other on the show later Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thank yeah. you.